So, I wanted to have a short conversation with everybody. I wanted to post the video today to try to keep up on my videos so that you guys know what's going on. Um, took care of some stuff today. Hey, bub. So, I wanted to have a short conversation about some of your most recently favorite books. I'll go first. It's not the most recent, but it's a good series. Um, Rick Riordan's books. Um, he's a, well, more of an author, uh, in Rick Riordan's books. He does like these mythology books that, um, well, depending on what part of the world you're in, um, they're mythology to us. If it's not mythology to you, I apologize. Um, I'm a Christian. Um, but mythology where they are like the children of demigods or the children of like old magicians and they have like one god parent, god, like not a godparent like oh hey your parents died i'm gonna give you your godparent like like hades or zeus or that's not really a good thing but like all the lesser ones like you know like aries and and uh or hermes or mercury apollo. <laughs> apollo uh they have children and so these children that are like half human and half god they're called demigods or half bloods and you get to follow their story and like the story of what, how some of the more notable um, higher end, I guess, ranking, higher ranking gods have children and why, because they're not technically supposed to. Zeus, so, I'm looking at you, bud. Um, <laughs> um, he's really good. He also has an Egyptian series about like these magicians that serve the Pharaoh. Um, that's really good. He also has, I haven't read his Norse series yet, but it, I hear it's really good. Um, I'm not going to spoil for you everything about Rick Riordan's series because there's kind of a few, quite a few books based on the Greek and slash Greek Roman um, idea. So what about you, bud? What's a good, what's a good book you read lately for the younger audience? I mean, that was a um, younger audience. That was a book for kids. That was a young audience. What's yeah. another one? Um, I recently finished in the past couple months Harry Potter, but that's always just a good thing. Um. Uh, uh, if you haven't read Matilda, I think it was, came out in like the 90s. Something like that. It was an old kid's book. And it has remained one of my favorites over the years, mainly because I can relate to Matilda. Well, most recently, what about the Truman? What about oh, the Truman books you've been reading? Yeah. The 2022, 2023 children, the Truman Award nominees. What was your favorite one so far? Uh, I've only read two. A lot of the two you've read. Uh, the Stars We Steal and Canyon's Edge, which I finished today, fun fact. So which one did you like better? Uh, Canyon's Edge was boring, so I <laughs> like The Stars We Steal. <laughs> All right. And uh, let's see. Um, another favorite author of mine is very stereotypical for me to say. It sounds like a stereotypical thing to say. I love Edgar Allan Poe. Yes. Edgar Allan Poe's poems and short stories, they inspired me to write poetry. And on the same note, if you haven't heard of Ellen Hopkins, I highly recommend all of her books. She writes in a poetry format, um, but it's like an epic. It's like how like Homer, the Odyssey, and the Iliad and all that. It's like a poem. It's like that. Um, but she has actual, like, I have to, you know, the book. But there's one that I really like called Impulse. Um... If you're feeling kind of bad about yourself, that one's a really good one to read. Um, what about you, bud? Any other books that um, stick out? Authors? Authors? <sighs> okay, hold up. I forgot one. And it's like my favorite book series of all time. Okay. The, the, the whole Middle Earth thing. Just... Si Tolkien. Si Similarian. Yeah, Tolkien. Similarian, Hobbit, Lord of the Rings. All good books. Amazing. Definitely. In the movies? Try to get through Sorry. Hobbit. So good. Oh, yeah, the movies, I love them. The extended versions are the way to go. The extended versions are the way to go. They're amazing. Yeah. Uh, on that note, um, classic authors, uh, Jules Verne. If you haven't really dove into Jules Verne's unabridged works... Really should do that. Um, Journey to the Center of the Earth, or from the Earth to the Moon, um, Around the World in 80 Days are some very notice notable Jules Verne books. 
Um, those are the ones that I, I recommend, but then you dive deeper and all of his stuff is so good. Mm -hmm. So good. Um, what about you, Adam? I know you're not on screen, but do you have any favorite books? What do you mean, like poetry? Any, any books. books. Any author, books. Or um, poetry authors, maybe. What's that? Robert Frost. Robert Walt Whitman. Robert Frost, Walt Whitman. Those are good. What about uh, Sun Tzu, The Art of War? Is that considered poetry? It's a book. That's one of my favorite I, it wasn't, We weren't talking I mean, about we're poetry. Books. Any books. Any books. Uh, books, authors, series. To Kill a Mockingbird. Recommended reading here in this state for high school um, students. It's really even good. if it wasn't recommended, I love the book. It's a good book. It's a very I good book that everyone should read. Read it before high school, you'll have a leg up on them. Uh, it, it's very good. And it comes to that, there's stuff in that book that are still today relevant. Yeah. Do you think it would be, be in uh, the, my middle school? Um, um, to Kill a Mockingbird? I mean, you already mentioned Homer and the Iliad and Chris. Yeah, they, they're they all Achilles is my favorite classic person. Yeah. Achilles is fun to read about. Um, and on that note, uh, on the Iliad and Odyssey note, that's why I recommend Rick Riordan. He's like a modern Homer, but he writes in novels. Um, and then if you want to get into some like other reading, you have books like The Tale of Despero and um, Stone Fox. Um, Tupac is a good poet, but everyone knows Tupac, right? You don't eat slept. <laughs> Also, um, let's see. I know this one's stereotypical. It's it's historical. It's it's at historically accurate. It's been proven over and over to have proof and evidence in it. And whether or not you believe the way I do, um, even as just a historical book, you guys should read the Bible because it's got the best stories. It's the best storytelling book ever. It's the way it was written. The people who wrote it everything about it's just it's just epic i mean like even as just literary work even if you're trying to say oh it's the bible but read it i mean give it a chance you know it's a good literary work uh any other recommendations mm, no not really not really well those are some favorites of ours. Um, I know I left out several of my favorites. Um, Cassandra Clare. She writes the Shadowhunter novels. Um, Twilight series. Sherilyn Kenyon. Kenyon is a very, a very adult author. User be warned. Uh, that's viewer my, be warned. That's my favorite author. Sherilyn. Like that she's very mature. You're like, don't let your... It's love stories. Don't let these guys read it. Damon, it's he can't story, read... but it's an adult love story. He can't read it till later. Uh, it's about... Different gods, kind of like Devil May Cry. It's the adult version of the Rick Riordan books, only it's what the gods are doing and not, you don't want to hell. He can't read it, it really. It's, not, it's, very, very, it's very mature, very, very it's very graphic. descriptive, and I, it's a, like a very, it's a romance. They're a romance series, but it's they are cool. so, the story is so good. Um, my mom would recommend Anita Blake, uh, the, the vampire Anita Blake. I don't remember who they're by. Laurel K. Hamilton and her pen name, or is that her pen name? But yeah, they're the I, Anita Blake novels. My mom. The Vampire Diaries know. books. The Vampire Diaries books are epic. If you watch the show and you're like, where is the rest of the story or where did it come from? The books have the most incredible, like, author. The, the original author before the ghost written part of the Vampire Diaries is way better. The original author did so much better than the ghost writer, but the ghost writer was pretty good. I noticed, though. Sometimes you can't notice the ghostwriter. I noticed. But they were... It was good. But I recommend her stuff. It's a her, right? Uh, I'm not going to pronounce. Please don't be insulted at me. I see girl. I see guy. I don't... I don't see... Yeah. I don't see the in-between stuff. I just see whether or not you look like a girl or a guy. And, I mean, like... You could be trans and look like a girl. And I wouldn't notice that you were a guy before most of the time. If, but but I only see girl guy. I'm 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 sorry. I'm not gonna say <laughs> weird stuff. It's he or she to me. <sighs> yes, sir. On the movies. Well, that's gonna be another. Well, we'll do a separate video about movies. 
because I have a long, long, long list of movies. Oh, 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 oh. Speaking of movies and books, Stephen King is like still my top favorite up there with Edgar Allan Poe. And I always forget to say it because it's so obvious. He's so obviously one of my favorites that it's just like it doesn't come to my head. That's also, you want to say he's pretty mature, but I would recommend, you know, high school and up is fine. Um, I was reading, I was reading Stephen King in middle school because I had a really high reading level, even though I'm dyslexic. Um, one of the best ones, uh, Under the Dome, Four Past Midnight. The Stand. <sighs> the Stand, oh my gosh, The Shining, uh, Doctor Sleep. Some of the best Tommy ones. Knockers, Langoliers. Yeah, the Langoliers. The stairs, Just Pet Cemetery. All of them are really good. The books, the like, movies, give those. A genius. And since... Stephen King is our segue from books to movies. I'm going to end it there. You guys have a great day. Something to think about. We're probably going to continue talking about books and movies for a while. But you let me know down in the comments. Message me down in the or to put it down in the comments. And I'll have a follow-up video. More of my favorite books to come. Have a good day. Toodaloo. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>